Cecilia's spot. And today we're going to make a newborn nighty. And you saw the picture, so uh, you want to cut out your pattern, which you can find the link below. Okay, and then choose your fabric, which I have. So what we're going to do first, obviously, is cut out the pattern. So go ahead and um, cut your pattern out and then cut it out on your fabric. I just used one of these. It's the same for the back, so I'm going to do two, cut two for this and two for this. All right. Okay, after you've cut out all your pieces, you should have two, the front and the back. Um, they're pretty much the same exact piece, and then two sleeves, same thing, same sleeves. Now, you can either cut out the fabric and make your own kind of bias tape for the end, or you can buy bias tape. Um, that's what I have, and so I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, what you're going to do is fold your bias tape on the ends of your sleeves here, and sew them right on. Don't forget to backstitch. Um, if you're cutting your own fabric, uh, it's pretty similar. You know, you can cut it and iron it to make it like bias tape and then sew it on. Um, there's also some tutorials on the website about that if you are interested in learning more about bias tape or how to sew it on. Okay, so go ahead and do that for the top of both the sleeves and then also for the um, the neck collar, you're going to use the bias tape or your cut, in, your cut out um, bias tape that you made from the same pattern, which you can do too if you want the same exact pattern. Alright, so do that and then we will meet back. Okay, now that you have your bias tape all done, completed, you have it on here and you also have it on your sleeves. What you want to do is take your two pieces, your front and your back, and you want to overlap them. Now, earlier on the pattern, you can see it says mark here. So um, what you want to do is look for that mark. Now, if you forgot your mark, um, what I did was I actually measured it out. It's about four inches. So you can measure it out about four inches down, and you want to overlap them. So it would be right about on the four inch mark, they would overlap. So you want to take them, for example, this side, and you want to match them up so they overlap. Now, like I said, if you didn't mark it, you can kind of measure, and you can see this one's a little far down, so you want to just scoot it back up. It's kind of hard to do with one hand camera but here we go so you want to match it up then uh, pin it just like this side and then you have that and what you want to do is baste it or sew it rather um, right along the edges there so they're complete okay so go ahead and do that match it up if you forgot the four inch mark would be where they meet um, and then sew that part on where the sleeve's going to be, okay? Alright, and then we'll meet back. Okay, so now that you have these sewn together, um, the next thing you want to do is find the middle of this side where the sleeve is, okay? And you also want to take your sleeve that you have here, and you may have marked where the middle was. If you ha didn't, then all you have to do is fold it in half, and you can find the middle, okay? And then you want to take that middle part, and we're going to sew, of course, pattern to pattern here. Now, it may look like really odd, obviously, to try and get this to sew to this, but you do. You just go around, you're going to pin it, and you're going to have it sew. So you line the middle to the middle, and then you're going to pin it together. Like this side was pinned together, and then I did sew it together already, as you can see. So go ahead and do that for this side. You're going to just kind of mark the middle to middle that you have, and start and, and pin it together, okay? And then you're going to sew it across, and then you'll end up with a sleeve that looks like that, okay? 
So go ahead and do that for both your sleeves and we'll meet back. Okay, so once you have your sleeves sewed on, what you want to do is turn it inside out and line up all the edges. Okay, so you're going to pin it right all the way down, okay? Same thing. All the way up and all the way down the sleeve. And then you're just going to go ahead and sew it. Make sure it's a strong stitch, okay? So go ahead and sew that um, and then we'll come back. <laughs> And then you'll be almost done already. Okay, so once you've sewed down all the sides and the sleeves, this is what it should look like. So you can use like a real tight stitch. Um, you can do like a real tight zigzag, like almost 0 0.05 to 1 um, to close this. Or, you know, just, just a very tight um, stitch any any sort is okay just make sure it's gonna stay and then what I did was turn it right side out again and I just checked you know with my fingers and everything I went through to make sure that there's um, no holes that it was all tightly sewn and then I took a look and at the inside here the seam and if there was like a lot extra then I would uh, trim it off being careful not to trim the thread that you just sewed in obviously um, and then what you can do next is if you want to iron it, you can. But what I'm going to do is turn this inside out again because we're going to put the elastic on you're the bottom. You're going to fold it up. If you're going to use one fourth, you want to fold it up about a half an inch. Okay, all the way around. And the other side too. It's hard to do with one hand. But then you're going to sew. Obviously, you want this straight so you can iron this or pin it. And you're going to sew along, okay? And what you want to do is leave one spot you want to leave about an inch, inch and a half or so open um, so that you can put your elastic through. So go ahead and uh, make your little pouch for your elastic next. So now that you've sewn all the way open around and you've left a little opening um, you want to take your elastic and this is the half an inch actually that I'm going to go with um, and you're going to put it in. So what you want to do is you'll put the, the paper clip in, the safety pin rather, and then you'll pull it through, you'll bunch it and keep pulling it all the way around, okay? Okay, so you can see I pulled the elastic all the way through here, both ends. So you're gonna make it whatever, um, you know, however tight you want on the bottom. Probably stretch it out a little bit. Uh, you don't want it too tight, but you want it to be like a little nighty. And then what you're going to do is take the end here and you're going to take this end, take the clip off the safety pin and you're going to take the end of this and you're going to sew them together, okay? So you can use the machine or hand sew, just make sure it's sewn really well together. And then you can either hand sew or machine sew the end of this stitch. And then that'll be it, then you'll be done. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll show the final product. Okay, so this is the finished product. All done. The bottom was sewn shut, and uh, the elastic was sew sewn together. So that's it. You are finished. Pretty quick and easy. So that's it from Cecilia's spot. Uh, if you want the pattern, you can go there for the uh, link for the free pattern. Alright, hope you enjoyed.